Hey, John, what's up? Have you talked to Mom today? Uh, yeah. Are you referring to the family reunion? The weekend family reunion? Oh, come on. It might not be so bad. Cousin Phil has a great property. It's really nice out there. Cousin Phil is a hick. That whole side, all hicks. Ugh, and you're not judgmental at all. I don't know. I just don't want to go out in the boonies for a whole weekend with a bunch of people I don't even know. Well, you know me. You know Mom. Yeah, and I know Dad, but he's staying home. Of course he is. Our dad is 70 years old and he's never gotten along with Mom's family. Do you think he wants to be stuck with them for three days? Exactly. That's my point exactly, Mika. So why even go? Just relax. That family is actually pretty chill. They know how to have a good time. You just haven't spent any time with them since you were a kid. Well, believe me, I got a lifetime's worth back then. Staying the month at Aunt You-Know-Who. Oh, come on, don't say it. Don't say her name. Do you really still believe that? Oh, come on, Mika. What? Shut up. Do you honestly still believe that if you say Aunt Zora's name, she'll actually appear? Damn it, John, why did you do that? Are you seriously still afraid of that old lady? She was old back then. How old must she be now? Is she even alive? God, I don't even know. I think she's in some home way up in Brannard, but I'm honestly not sure. She belonged in a home back then, too. We'll have to ask Mom how old she is. I hated going to that old farmhouse every summer. Why did Mom make us do that a whole month of our summer for three years? Until we both cried and begged her to let us stop going. I guess she wanted to teach us a little farmyard discipline. Well, how well did that work out for us? Not well. I slept through my 7 a.m. alarm. Well, you better not sleep in tomorrow. We leave bright and early. 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Are you serious? Why so early? To get there in time for the big welcome brunch. There's a welcome brunch? Oh my god. Lighten up. I don't want to be dragging you around all weekend. I can't lighten up. Do you know how much disgusting fatty food is going to be served there? I'm sure they'll have some collard greens with bacon fat for you. Uh, please, I just ate. Hello, honey. Are you up? Ugh, yes, Mom, I'm up. Okay, well, good. I just wanted to make sure you were because, you know, we're meeting at my house at 7. Yes, yes, I know. That's wonderful. I really wanted to thank you for coming to the reunion with us. I know that you didn't really want to go. Oh, uh, that's not true. Well, I know that you really don't, uh, relate to my side of the family. You know, the countryside. No, that's not true at all, Mom. I like country things. Well, that's good, because there's a whole lot to do out there that's not going to involve your MacBook Pro. Oh, uh... Right. Heh. And the Wi-Fi can be a little fragile in some places down there, too. Oh, um, really? Yes, so don't expect to do much in the way of work. Nope, you'll be focusing totally on family this weekend. Oh, well, thank God for that. So, um, who all is going to be there? Oh, well, the usual. All of your aunts and uncles and cousins, of course. Uh, the ones still living. Hey, speaking of still living, you know who Mika and I were talking about the other day? Who, dear? Great Aunt Zora. You remember Great Aunt Zora? Well, um, of course I remember Aunt Zora, John. She was my aunt. Was your aunt? Oh, that's too bad. Too bad? That's the thing we were actually talking about, whether or not she's alive. That sounds kind of morbid, I know, but I guess we missed her funeral. Sorry about that. Oh, no, Aunt Zora isn't dead. Oh, she isn't? No, of course not. She's only 82 years old. Wait a minute. Zora is only 82, but I'm 28. Um, yes, and your point is? But, but when I was a kid, she was so old. I was only like eight years old when I was going over there. Yes, dear. So that means that when you knew Aunt Zora, she was in her mid-50s. But that's... that's insane. That's like way younger than even you now. Way younger? Excuse me? Oh, well, you know what I mean. Well, if you miss your great Aunt Zora so much, you'll be happy to know that she's making her long-awaited return to the reunion this weekend. She's, uh... she's what? Yes, she hasn't been in nearly 20 years. I haven't even seen her for even longer than that. Aunt... 
Zora is going to be there this weekend. I'm going to see Aunt Zora. Um, yes, is that some kind of a problem for you? I've got to go, Mom. Honey, is everything all right? I've got to go. Mika, Mika, holy crap, we are totally screwed, Mika. John, what the hell is going on? Would you calm down? Take a deep breath. Do your breathing exercises. Mika, it's... it's Aunt Zora. Uh, damn it, John, I told you not to say her name. What's the matter with you? She's going to be there this weekend, Mika. What do you mean? At the reunion? She's alive? Yes, at the reunion, and I assume that she's alive. And get this, Mom said she's only 82. 82? What? Yeah, I know, right? But how can that even be? She was 82 when we were kids. I know, exactly. But why is she going? I've never seen her there before. She didn't go last year or the year before that. Apparently, this is her first in over 20 years. It's her grand and triumphant return. Oh, well, that's it. I can't go. What, what do you mean you can't go? Exactly what I just said. You expect me to face that woman after everything she put us through? Hey, I'm not going to do this alone. Do you hear me? So who's asking you to? Just stay home yourself. I don't care. But come on, that, that'll break mom's heart. Oh, she'll get over it. Okay, then. It'll make her really, really mad. Hmm, that's not as easy for her to get over. Exactly. All right, well, ugh, fine, I'll go. But I don't have to talk with her, okay? And I don't have to either. And we can tell mom that? I mean, yeah, I guess. But what if she asks us why we hate Aunt Zora so much? Um, I don't know. Should we tell her the truth? What, that she gave us brutal spankings for the slightest infraction? That if we didn't eat all of our dinner, we couldn't get any the next night? Why didn't we tell her way back then? I don't remember. You were younger than me. So why didn't we tell her? It was simple, because Aunt Zora told us not to, and Aunt Zora was an adult. Oh, right. I guess that is simple. Uh, she's just an old lady now. We can do this, right? Right. There's nothing to be scared of. I mean, she's 82 years old. If she mouths off, we can just push her over. Um, John, I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, okay, fine. John, honey, where are you? We've been looking all over for you. We? Who's we? Well, it's just that there's some people here who would really love to say hello. Uh, people who haven't seen you in a very long time. Look, uh, Mom, I'm kind of tired of people for today. Uh, I think I need a break. Uh, I think I'm going to just go out to my room and lie down. Oh, nonsense. This is a family reunion. Who knows if you'll even see some of these people ever again. Oh, um, right. How terrible would that be, right? Exactly. Several of these people are very old, John, and time is a precious thing. You'll learn that one of these days. So, um, who is this that you want me to meet? It's your Aunt Zora! Oh, uh, I... I told her that my children were here and her face just lit up. You should have seen it, John. She said that she can't wait to see how big you've gotten. I said, well, he's 28 years old. He's gotten pretty big. Mom, I really don't think I'm up for it tonight. Not up for it? Oh, come on. It'll take five minutes. Where's your sister? Zora should really meet you both at the same time, don't you think? Um, yeah, you're right. I think she should. I mean, it's only right. We were always together as kids, right? Let's just wait until I can find Mika. Uh, then we'll talk to Aunt Zora, okay, Mom? Where is Mika anyway? I feel like I've hardly seen her all day. Oh, she's just been busy playing checkers with Uncle Amos. Uncle Amos? Well, be careful. He cheats. And bites. He bites? Yeah, well, you know how some of the old guys can get. They just get a little bit jumpy. So, are you looking forward to the watermelon shoot? The what? Oh, none of your cousins told you? Well, I haven't really been hanging out with my cousins. Well, tonight, after the pig roast... Pig roast? All of the boys go down to the valley with shotguns and blow up watermelons. Oh, um, is this watermelon shoot mandatory? Well, it's not mandatory, but do you have other plans or something? 
Is it either that or meeting Great Aunt Zora? What is the matter with you? What? What do you mean? I mean this whole thing with you and your Great Aunt Zora, your sister, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. It's like you both would do anything to avoid seeing her. It's like you're... you're scared of her or something. Scared of Great Aunt Zora? Oh, come on. That's crazy. Why would you ever think that? Well, it had crossed my mind. I mean, she used to scare me some when I was that age. You mean she was scary when she was even younger than that? Um, scary? Well, it's just... I don't know. John, are there any reasons in particular that you are scared of her? Uh, I'm not scared of her mom. She's 82 years old and I'm a grown man. Why would I be scared of an 82-year-old woman? Right, of, of course. Why would you be? Besides, Aunt Zora's bark is worse than her bite. It always has been. Um, right, sure. Don't worry about her. Just come and meet her. But I will warn you, she's still a cheek pincher. Ugh, <laughs> Mika, where are you? Where do you think I am? I'm sitting in the rental car playing Tetris. Well, I think it may be time. Um, time for what, John? Time to pay the piper. And by the piper, uh, I mean talking to Aunt Zora. What? Why? Why now? Because Mom cornered me about it. She said she really wants to meet us. She said she's a cheek pincher. A uh, what? Look, let's just get this over with. Did you tell Mom why we don't want to meet her? What she do to us? Everything she put us through? Um, no. I mean, she kind of gave me the opportunity, but I just didn't take it. Well, great job, John. Now what are we going to do? Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay right where I am playing Tetris. Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about? We're in this together, remember? What do you mean? You talked me into coming all the way down here. This was all your idea. I didn't know at the time that our evil Aunt Zora was going to be here. Ugh, okay, look, just... I'll go meet her. I'll tell Mom that you were feeling sick or something, okay? Really? You would do that for me? You'll owe me one. Well, you'll let me know how it goes, right? If I make it out alive. John, where are you? I can't find you anywhere. John? Hello? She's the same. She's exactly the same. What do you mean? I mean, Great Aunt Zora. She's exactly like she was back then, but, but somehow even older and scarier. Scarier? But how can she be scarier? I wanted to confront her, Mika, even if she is an old lady. I wanted to confront her and tell her about how terrible she made me feel as a kid. Did you have a speech prepared and everything? Hey, come on, don't make fun of me. I'm trying to be serious here. I'm being serious too. I have a speech prepared. Or had a speech prepared. Now there's no way I'm talking to her. No, you can't save yourself. What happened? What did she say to you? It's not so much what she said, but just the whole vibe. The vibe? Yeah, like those old dynamics from back when we were kids all came back again. Suddenly I was this scared, shy, stuttering little boy, afraid of his own shadow. Did she pinch your cheeks? Yeah, and I think she almost broke the skin. Whoa, really? And when she asked about my job and I told her I wasn't in management, she threatened to turn me around and spank me. What the hell? Where was mom during all of this? Did she hear any of it? Oh, she just stood there laughing it off. Are you serious? Yeah, it's like she doesn't take any of it seriously. She just laughs it off like it was all part of growing up or something. Oh, so did that happen to her? Is that it? It happened to her, so it's okay that it happened to us? I don't know. I don't know why, but she just doesn't get it. Well, she doesn't have to get it. Ugh, this sucks. I'm sorry I got us into this, John. I didn't realize it would bring up so much trauma. No, it's not your fault. It's Great Aunt Zora's fault. She's the one who traumatized us. Mom, I have to talk to you about something, and Mika's going to be talking to you about it, too. Um, okay, what is it? Does it have anything to do with how horrible you've both been about your poor Great Aunt Zora? Our what? Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about. You were so rude to her earlier. 
I was not. I barely even said anything to her. And your sister hasn't even talked to her at all. I mean, what's up with that? Have you talked to her or anything? Mom, this is what I want to talk to you about. Okay, what? What do you want to talk to me about? About Great Aunt Zora, about why we've been acting the way we've been acting. Okay, go on, I'm listening. Well, it's just that when we were kids and we would go to her house in the summer... Yes? Uh, it's sort of hard for me to say. It's hard for you to say, but why? Because it's really painful. It's, it's okay, dear. You're in a safe place. I'm your mother. You can tell me anything. Well, uh, the thing is, Aunt Zora was pretty abusive towards us. Abusive towards who? Towards you? Yeah, towards me and Mika. What do you mean abusive? Like abusive how? Well, if we didn't finish our dinner, we couldn't get any the next night. Oh, well that's all? No, that's not all, but isn't that bad enough? I mean, I would be so hungry all night and I didn't have to be. I was just a little kid. Well, she used to do that same thing to us as kids all the time. You mean starve you? It wasn't starving you, it was just how they did things back then. You mean abuse? Oh, please, abuse. Were you hit? Did anybody hit you? Actually, yes, a uh, matter of fact. She spanked us with a wooden paddle. It had holes in it. I can still see it now. Oh, she still had... Splinter? Splinter? Splinter was what us kids called those things when we were growing up. When she would hit us with it. You mean she would hit you with it too? Yes, she would. I didn't realize that she was hitting you with that. Well, what did you think she was hitting us with? I don't know. Her hand? A rolled up magazine? And it's not hitting, it's spanking. But you never spanked us. Believe me, that was a very confusing environment to go into. I... I'm sorry, honey. You mean you knew that she was like that, but you sent us there anyway? I honestly thought she had changed. It had been over 25 years at that point. I had no idea what was going on. Why didn't either of you tell me? Because she told us not to. Why do you think so? Oh, dear God. I cannot believe that woman. Yeah, well, I kind of can't believe you. I guess I was so used to it, I didn't know how wrong some of it was. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry you had to go through all of that. You're sorry? I'm sorry! I let my children be abused! Well, it doesn't mean we have to keep it going, do we? No, we don't. But what does that mean? Well, we've seen everybody we really want to see, right? Um, I mean, I was hoping to spend a little more time with my cousin Abby. Come on, you guys can meet up sometime. It'll be a good excuse to go on a road trip. So you're saying that you want to get out of here and go home as soon as possible? Yes, that's what I'm saying, and I speak for Mika as well. Uh, okay, let me just say my goodbyes. Yeah, um, I have one more goodbye to say too. Before leaving the reunion, John laid into Great Aunt Zora about all of the abuse he and his sister suffered as children at her hands. Hearing the commotion, Mika came over and joined in. It was a moment of pure, shared catharsis, and it left its target speechless. They then threw their bags in the car and hit the road, never to see Zora again. The following years, neither John nor Mika went to the reunion, but their mom went as usual. Aunt Zora was not in attendance. She had died six months earlier.